When we first heard LA being described as an oil town, we went around looking for evidence of it. It's the third largest oil field in the country. We expected pumps, drills, something that would tell us that oil was here. We ended up at this abandoned refinery in Ojai, just outside Los Angeles, where we are today. This relic looked like it was hit by the apocalypse. Was this what was left? No. We found out LA oil is still thriving only it's gone underground. Drills along Pico Boulevard in Beverly Hills, but they're hidden inside hollow buildings in the shadows of malls. It sounded like something we had to explore and see to believe, so we're going to find out more. Los Angeles is one of the most densely populated and expansive urban areas in the country. Oil companies are scrambling to discover what's left of the world's most valuable modern day resource. Supposedly, there are actual functioning oil rigs in the city of Los Angeles, hidden in plain sight. We went to Beverly Hills High School to check it out. So I think I found the oil rig. It's what appears to be this building that has been obscured with painting of flowers, uh, the actual rig being next to it. So it's kind of crazy to me that this oil rig is just kind of stuck right in the middle of campus behind basketball courts and I'm gonna go get a closer look. Now I don't see any no trespassing signs, just a lot of hard hat area signs. There is a camera though. We had heard that this wasn't the only place in Beverly Hills where there was drilling. All right, so we're here now at the Beverly Center shopping mall in West Hollywood. I've been to this mall many times. Again, I wasn't aware that there was an oil rig here, a functioning one. And here it is in plain view. From the bottom of the street, you can't see it at all, but up here we have a perfect view of what's going on. Did anyone here know what's happening underneath them? We went to find out. Do you know what this is right here, though? No, but I did read the signs. It says something about harmful something. Well, it's actually a functioning oil rig. Is it? Do you have an idea what this is? No. You have, so you work in the mall and you have no clue what is in back of the mall. What is that? It's an oil rig. Oh, wow. And do you know we're actually standing on an oil field right now? Oh, wow. The mall is based on an oil field. Really? Yeah. You had no idea. No one knew that drilling was happening next to them. Finding out more, we ended up in the last place we would have thought. Today we're here at the Farmer's Market in West Hollywood on 3rd and Fairfax. Standing next to me is Don Clark, who is a geologist, and he's going to tell us why we are here. We're here to visit an oil field. Believe it or not, this beautiful state-of-the-art shopping center that has a long, long history of shopping is a major oil field. It's produced over 20 million barrels, and it produces it right below our feet here, and nobody here even realizes it. In 1900, a couple of dairy farmers owned two properties, one in Beverly Hills and another in Compton. They were named Arthur Gilmore and Jules Carter. Business had gone bad, so they split and decided who kept which land with a coin toss. Carter won. He got Compton. Compton had water. Gilmore was landlocked. He had to look for water, so he decided to drill a well. He didn't find water. He found oil. Lots of it. He and his son Earl went into business, starting with Gilmore Oil gas stations, building football and baseball stadiums, race car tracks, boxing arenas. The entire oil field was developed. More oil wells were found. Earl turned it into an entertainment center. He set world race records and even hired a pilot to fly around the country in a Gilmore plane with a lion in the back seat. On this side of the street is actually where Arthur Gilmore drilled that water well. For the very, the first one, this is the, where he struck it. Where he actually found oil instead of water. So they never ever produced water from that well, and they decided not to even produce much oil from it. They called an oil company in, and that is when Salt Lake Oil Company came in and actually drilled the well for them. All right, so where we're standing used to be where they would dr drill directly on, on site, I guess is the term, yeah. but that's not the case anymore? Not now. Uh, right behind the parking lot, up to three years ago, they were producing wells right here, and we're in one of the parking lots. Uh, right now, the, the drilling that comes in, comes in from the site, it's off-site, and the family here has decided that's a better thing uh, for them. Right now, the technology is very, very advanced, and we can drill very long distances from off-site. Drilling wasn't just happening at Beverly Hills. We wanted to see how much oil was getting pumped in L.A. and how close we could get to it. All right, Don, so you brought me to this building here. We're on Pico Boulevard in West Hollywood still. Uh, what is this exactly? Where are we? Well, this is one of the very famous urban oil sites. 58 wells have been drilled from this site. 
they are directionally drilled underneath the city, up into the, if you want, Beverly Hills area. You can see it's a large building, and it looks like just an office building, yeah. with a large front. Uh, the oil wells are in the center area. They're very tightly spaced, and all the production facilities are behind. So it's all produced, and then all of the oil from here is piped away. It is very, very quiet. They have sound monitors all around. Uh, you can see they have some protection. Uh, it looks good. It's basically sounds good and no smell. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to keep a pretty low profile with like the way it's designed and everything. It's to the untrained eye. It's just a, it's an office building or something. These urban wells are everywhere. Oil companies have to dig miles around looking for oil pockets. There are still well owners all around Los Angeles that own the rights to the resources under their property. Can you explain what mineral rights are as it applies to Los Angeles? It's very important, and what applies here applies all over the entire country. Okay. When you have land, any chunk of land, whether it be this land, the land of the houses right here, each land has surface rights, it has water rights, and it has mineral rights. And a lot of people own them and don't know it. And you drill a well underneath my property, you have to pay me for my minerals. Sea Signal Hill, people used to put wells on every single lot. That's just phenomenally wasteful. Yeah. Waste resources, it's incredibly dangerous, and environmentally, it's unsound. So most of the environmental laws in the industry got their start right here in Los Angeles. All of the hidden rigs were doing a good job at keeping drilling in the city undercover. Each oil company had one reason or another why they wouldn't even show us the front door. Then we called Craig in Signal Hill, CEO of Signal Hill Petroleum. They've been drilling for oil here since the 1920s, and it's the kind of place where homes used to come with a well in their backyard. The town is basically built on an oil hill and has open wells all over the place. California, I think, was also on the leading edge because they were encouraging and times forcing the cleanup of, of some of the industrial things of the past. Uh, California's regulatory agencies learned how to clean up things environmentally, but also cost-effectively. In our community, our survival is based upon our oil field here. So we have to work very closely, the city, with our neighbors, with the businesses, because if, if we mess up, we're obviously messing up our, our future. And these oil wells, they produce for 80 years now, some of them, the Discovery Well's still producing. Wow. We've got new wells that we're just drilling within the last year. But there should be oil producing here you know, for at least another 50 years, I would think, and, wow. and maybe more. I've grown up in Southern California my whole life. I live in L.A., and this is going on all over the city. What does it mean for Los Angeles? This whole city runs on oil, and they're looking for more right under my feet. The city was built on the foundations of the oil business. It's a movie town, but before CBS built their studios on Fairfax, that block was just a bunch of oil drills. The thing about it is that it's still an oil field. Only no one can see what's happening underground.